Hey guys, it's Mr. Chu, and here's what you're going to learn today. By the end of this video, you should be able to create equivalent forms of polynomial functions. Watch to divide r to the fifth minus r to the fourth plus 6r minus 9 by r minus 1. The first thing I want to look at is what we are dividing. So we have r to the fifth minus r to the fourth plus 6r minus 9. We're actually missing a number of terms here. So if I rewrite this, I'm going to use coefficients as well. We have 1r to the fifth minus 1r to the fourth plus 0r to the third plus 0r squared plus 6r minus 9. Now our divisor, we have r minus 1. Keep in mind to start synthetic division, we need to set that equal to 0 and solve for r. That number, r, is going to be on the outside of our synthetic division. Now what goes on the inside are our coefficients for our polynomial. In this case we have 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 6, and negative 9. Now if you recall, we'll start by dropping our first term, multiplying 1 times 1, and the product will go up above the bar in the next column. Next, we'll add down, so negative 1 plus 1 is 0 and repeat the same process. So 1 times 0 this time is 0. Add down. Continue. 1 times 0 again, 0. Add down. Again, 1 times 0, 0. Add down. 1 times 6 gives us 6. And then we'll add down. Now the numbers we just got under our bar, those are going to be the coefficients for our quotient. So our quotient starts with r to the fourth plus 0r to the third plus 0r squared plus 0r plus 6 minus 3 over r minus 1. You could also rewrite it as r to the fourth plus 6 minus 3 over r minus 1. And the reason why is because we have all of these terms that are just 0r's or 0r to the powers and we know that 0 times anything is just 0. And that's it.